I got a question for you both. Is it a hostage situation if a person has several personalities threatening to off himself? Do the other ones not want to die? I mean, it's like multiple personality syndrome. Like, right. I would depends. assume not all of them. Yeah. You, How you many know, personalities are we talking? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm we assuming talking there's Deadpool, at least two. where it's the three voices, or are we talking about Split, where it's like seven of them? Right. Is that a mass murder at that point, though? A serial killer. Serial killer's <laughs> at least three. Right, serial killer's is three and up, so... For sure he's a serial killer no matter what. <laughs> Since we're in an age of just, you know, co-signing everybody's mental disorders anyway, so he's a serial killer. Yeah. Um, but is it a hostage situation? No, because no, you can't negotiate for the release of the hostages. I mean... I can't I mean, release them. Hold on. You got to be able to you got to be able to release the hostage and the other one's got to be able to set free. If show definition of free. <laughs> you would really you go like down a fucking a dumb ass rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. I say shoot the nigga and call it a day to be honest. I personally. Um but as hostage situation goes, sure. I they would, would be diplomatic. They would try to save him. He'd be so funny. I mean as, as my boy Rizzo once says, the, the, the penalty for suicide is death, so do it merely make a difference? I did not expect all these Wu-Tang references so <laughs> much on Saturday morning. Um, yeah, no. I'm, Suicide's I, I a homicide and death is a penalty if anybody was wondering where I came up with that. I know that they're going to feel like the need to save them. Like, how do you even negotiate it? All right, if you can let one personality go, what the fuck? Not, they, it ain't. So probably just rush them. No, because. Anyway. What does it make a difference? Because, right, either way it goes, they finna lock up all of them. You can't leave one of them niggas out of jail. Wait, they're victims and accomplices? God damn. It was an inside job. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. It was all. It was a setup. <laughs> Honestly, that's just suicide by cop. So either way it goes, it's like you're fucked. That's the thing. Oh, wait, you just, what? Have you not heard that term before? No. Just people who commit crimes to just get killed. That's suicide by cop. Damn. Yeah. No, I yeah. ain't see that episode on the ID channel. <laughs> no, that's like a Fuck. quite common thing. Is that people commit crimes to either go to jail on purpose or get killed because they're not strong enough to kill themselves. I so. assume niggas that just wanted to do that was just on like some prison break shit. Like, oh, I got I got my man's on the inside. No, of no half of the time it's just I don't I want to die, and why go out quiet and leave everybody else out of it? Let me have somebody else do it for me. Because that um, that uh, the nigga the option is jail, and then I really fuck. No, because you could just do enough heinous shit to get killed. Yeah, but they also very much try to not. Shoot niggas right now. So. Unless you're white. That's what I'm saying. If you're white, they will definitely shoot your ass. Oh, really? By statistics. Sorry, on Black History Month. But statistically wise, they shoot more white people than black people by a long shot, apparently. I got bored and I started looking up numbers and. I'm just saying. Like, what if you, like, just don't cross the limit of, all right, we got to take them out. Now you in jail. Now, you, now, now, now your booty getting just. I mean, they going to kill you in jail one way or another, depending on what you did. If you're going for suicide by cop, you're already willing to push the limit just enough to to have them kill you. I'm talking about what all do you have to do? I don't know. Hold somebody at gunpoint. They're probably going to off you at that point. I figured, I thought they would. I'm sorry. I thought they was more diplomatic than that. She. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that being my point, they typically off, especially if you're white and white. And suicide amongst... I really looked at a lot of stats recently. I don't think suicide niggas by Suicide white, to... by white people are much higher than everybody else anyway. That sounds like some white shit. Yeah. Suicide is... <laughs> I, I feel like niggas be trying to stay here a little longer, personally, it's than weird. whites. I, not only is it white people that commit suicide the most, but only wealthy white people. Like, a certain tax bracket of white people commit suicide more than anybody else. So there you go. That's the only white privilege I think niggas get, is suicide. 
No, no, I looked them up already. I, knew, <laughs> I actually, I actually recently looked up these stats because I got bored and I was just curious about a bunch of dumb shit. And that was one of the high stats was suicide. Suicide is highest amongst whites than all other races. And if you break it down by money, it's like high middle to upper, like upper class people are the only ones offing themselves consistently. Broke people don't kill themselves often. Which you, you would think, think it would. I was like, you yeah. think it would be a little. I thought so too. I was, was like, there's no way. But no, like broke people just be grinding. Hope. You got it then. Like you still got hope, but when you make it to a certain level, you just like I, I don't know where to go from here. I Damn. I got to get out the hood, and that's like my only mental goal right now. Damn. But once you out the hood, and you in the suburbs. That's a slow death. You got to figure out. Some, that's how, that's why niggas got to make new goals. Yeah, and most people like. But that's the thing. Once you make it to the suburb, like for me and you. Making it to the suburbs and living comfortably. Nigga, that ain't my cellar. But you know what I mean. <laughs> like, that's, a, that's already a goal. You know what I mean? It's to get out the hood. That's step one, baby. <laughs> but, again, that's the obvious point. So once you make it there, then you start, you're limiting Actually, a lot of your shit. I, the suburbs ain't my goal. No? Nah. No? Nah. Where? Like, it's a, like, I guess the South. That's because the South is enough space where I'm not. I got a big ass house. It's not the suburbs, but my it might you know take a two minute walk to get to my neighbor's house though. Like I like land. Right. You want specifically. You want so solid land. I don't want to work the land, so I'm good. Oh no, I want to have. I want to be in the bracket of niggas that pay niggas to take care of the land. But at that point, I just stay in the suburbs. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, as a South Sider, I ain't gonna lie. The suburbs got a nasty taste in your mouth. Yeah, man. See that? That's the that, nasty taste in your mouth. Niggas get out the hood, and then the suburbs become the hood. Look what happened to Gary. True. <laughs> and Gary's empty, empty now. Like no, like niggas, niggas have ruined getting out the hood. Niggas ruined everything, but niggas have ruined getting out the hood. Very true. Very true. <laughs> But that's why you got you can't just pick a suburb. You can't just say, that's, I'm trying to get to the suburbs. You no. got to pick certain style of suburbs. If I get to choose, I'm not staying nowhere in Illinois. So the suburbs oh, no. really ain't even finna be oh, an let issue. Me, let me rephrase that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean getting out the hood and then moving to fucking Naperville was my goal. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not the goal. No. First of all, it's getting away from... I really fucking like your... You, Ever since the the White Sox, you been bringing up Tennessee, and I ain't bad at it. No, Tennessee is nice. <laughs> Tennessee is decent, but I wouldn't. I be... wouldn't go to Houston, but I go to Austin. Maybe I, which one got the most niggas? Houston. All right, so that I would go to Austin. Them. Austin is real nice, and right. ain't that many people. I want to be wherever the most white people are that just be gun carrying niggas, but not close enough to the border where I got to deal with that problem. Austin. All right. Austin is probably the tippy top as you would probably go. The rest of that is main city in Houston and shit. Right. No, I, don't I, can't. Go, I don't want to go to Houston. I don't really want to go to Dallas. I don't Austin think I'm a, I don't is think I'm a real Dallas nice. Name. Right. Austin is real nice. They got a downtown that's popping. Okay. Yeah. That fucks with Austin. My Texas fans, because there's a few of them out there. Like, let me know where to go. I've been wanting to go to Texas. Kelly don't want to go, but. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, it snowed yesterday. Can we talk about that? Can we name this Tyler? Can we name this episode Bipolar Express? Cause I went out yesterday morning and it was fake decent. Nigga, it was like 45. Was right. <laughs> Nigga, I woke up. <laughs> I yeah, I woke up because I took a nap. I woke up at like 10 p.m. And it was a fucking winter tundra outside. I don't know what the fuck is this? Yeah, that's cold. You gotta learn to look look at the news every once in a while. Some Bullshit. <laughs> like, we seen is. this shit coming. Everybody knew this day was coming. Shit. So, welcome to Chicago again. This I the ain't never saw it that bipolar. It was 45 <laughs> nigga, <laughs> at I, 10 a.m. Nigga, I went to the beach one day and it snowed in the afternoon. Don't tell me about bipolar weather. I've been here. Fuck you, me. <laughs> Talking about yesterday was bad. It wasn't even nice enough to be thoroughly bipolar. Like, until it's a beach day plus snow, you ain't been here yet. You ain't been in the city long enough, man. <laughs> I needed to rain in the morning, hit the beach in the afternoon, and then shovel some snow at night. Like, I done been, that has been a day in my life. Maybe in the city. I just don't, I, okay, part of it is I haven't been to the beach like that. Oh, okay. But damn, that's still crazy. That's <laughs> crazy as fuck, but it's, it's, it's Chicago. Sweet home, Chicago. I would like to. Hold do on, that. damn it. Hit the intro music. Hello.
ladies and gentlemen, boys and oh, girls, chef, children of all ages. What? Oh, let's get ready to podcast. It was very chaotic. Yeah, I thought that was in. I thought the whole little thing was in. Oh, uh, it might have been. <laughs> I'll cut it. I'll make it look pretty. Either way, my name happens to be FM Bob. The F and CEO, the host with the most. The, the magical he, Negro. The magical Negro still in, in Black Bobito. History Month. Bobito. F and Bobito for the Spanish people. I cannot the, wait. One, we never talked about it, but R.I.P., my personal favorite movie theater. Which one? The one on 87. Are they close it? As hell. Like, three weeks ago. And I'm is so that why the migrants sad. is hanging out over there? This is shit ton of migrants over there. Migrants might have contributed to this. Could be, yeah, could be. But by the way, that happens to be Invincible. He needs a nameplate, by the way. (laughs) Shit. This motherfucker just... You get to the last episode and forget all of what we've been doing for a year. Podcast Poppy, Tanjiro, uh, Dreadlock Tanjiro. Oh, shit. Hold on. Yeah, Shy town Yonko, Hamper of the Sea, Smooth Criminal of the Subliminal, Sinister Sinuses, Garlic Butter, Shout out my nigga Echo. Henny F say yeah. Henny F say yeah. Here to say today yeah. Uh, there's a couple you added. Um, South African, right? Moroccan. I don't think Moroccan made it, but we'll take it. <laughs> Hen Honcho. <laughs> I think Hen Honcho is on now. Yeah. There you go. Now you can start the show. <laughs> <laughs> Just calm down. I know it's the last few. few this is the last record. I'm but all, all hopped up on Mountain Dew. Damn. You drinking my Mountain Dew? <laughs> you drinking my Mountain Dew? You Mountain Dew drinking son of a bitch? It says it kick you in the back of the head, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, how you doing today? I am. I obviously hyped up. And hopped up. Sugar rushed. <laughs> I, I would have been late term if I stopped for coffee. That Mountain Dew is doing it. You feel me? <laughs> I don't know if that should have been a slogan that they could use, but if dude pay me, bitch, I'm I'm really <laughs> like I really gotta like get on this shit. Like I'm really scared that one day, maybe you should cut this part out in case they watching. I really feel like one day Hennessy is gonna steal my name for one of their ads, and I'm had to whoop somebody ass. Did you trademark it yet? Not yet, and Didn't I'm do so it. scared. Do it. What the fuck? Like, it takes no effort to, to trademark a name real quick. Do it before I do it. Oh, you going to put me in a 360? Damn. I'm going to get you to season four, and I might trademark That's your name. That's crazy. That would be wild as hell if I own your yeah. ass. That would be like John Cena in the WWE. Not only like not, damn yo, I'm gonna have to come back years later and sign to the board to get my shit back. Like rock, it's that's crazy, man. Crazy, it's man. crazy. I almost want to buy your name now just to do it during Black History Month. Like I own you, nigga. I would rebrand so fast. I've been thinking <laughs> of names. I've been thinking of names because I've been. Like, when you get to the to the level where you start thinking about retirement. Then you start thinking about how you can come out of retirement. Damn. And sometimes that involves a rebrand. Motherfucker, so let's I, get famous <laughs> first before you think about retiring and rebranding. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> this nigga ready for his 4-5 year already. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you got three championships to win first. Come on, let's, let's chill out a little bit. <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Holy shit. How are you doing? I'm alive, man. I'm alive. It's, it's a thing. A thing. <laughs> get your shirt. <laughs> I'm I'm semi excited because it's you know a few more days left as the day of the record Wednesday, three more days. That's all I got to make it through, and it's over with. You Did wanna... you already take off Thursday and Friday? I took off Thursday, Friday, and the entire next week after that. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to work. I'm shutting my phone off after this recording. Like literally after this recording, my phone is off. You will not be able to contact me. And I'm going to tell you why, because I'm going to get to it. I got to it in last Friday's episode after this recording, but put it this way. I'm so sick of advertisements Yeah. and, and the way that they, they advertise. Sure. Do you know how hard it is for me to go fucking just silent on one thing? Mm-hmm. It's only one thing I don't want to see or hear about right now, and it's impossible to not to. I'm going to tell you how bad it is, and I told the story on on the other episode. 
I was looking up rock, Guitar Hero 2 songs because we were having a discussion about Guitar Hero 2. Yeah. And I was like, let me look up the playlist of the songs that was on that game. And I was like, I know there's a specific song at the end of the game. And I flipped to the bottom of the list. At the bottom of the list is an ad for Final Fantasy. And I'm like, why? Why here is there a full, not ad, but a full blog post on what is going on? And I'm like, why is this here? In the same web page as, oh, here's the 20 songs from Guitar Hero 2 from 2001. And by the way, did you see this from the last trailer? No. But this is what y'all asked for. No, what I asked for. This is what y'all asked for when y'all was asking for the re first remake. I asked for the game. I asked for nothing else. <laughs> and they tried to hype up. They tried to make sure niggas know when the what game I'm is dropping. Saying, they told the me The regular when the game nigga was... is not going to set up a countdown. You know what it is, though? <laughs> but the regular nigga don't give a shit about this game. That's cap. Bullshit. That's cap. Regular motherfuckers? I feel like this is the this is the game that niggas are waiting for this year. No, it's not. I'm not getting it at release date. The regular, but I feel like this is the game. The regular people. I don't even know what else is dropping game, this year. The average gamer does not care about Final Fantasy drops. I'm I feel like, uh, no, I'm saying this one. Because of the promotion they've been doing, because of the first remake. I feel like this one is very much anticipated. This is less anticipated than the original remake because we know it's not a direct remake. We were we were happy and excited for the first one because we were expecting a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the old game. Now that we know it's different and twisted, a lot of people, a lot of the OG fans are already out. Oh. A lot of OG fans are like, I'm not even consuming this new shit. But why because leads, they're og but, fans and they're idiots and but I'm it leads into, back to it all roads lead to home vin diesel because <laughs> hardcore fans of anything are pieces of shit Damn. i've always i'm gonna say it into the camera so everybody hardcore fans of anything are dickheads <laughs> i hate you all every hardcore fan of I anything i thought you i thought you were in the group of diehard fans I'm a diehard fan, fan, but now I know there's a level above. Okay. <laughs> there's a level above where I am. I'm just happy consuming. If it says Final Fantasy, yeah. I'm already happy. If you throw seven behind it, I'm super happy. But then there's that brand above that is like, if it doesn't do this specifically. Like the fact that there's a hard, diehard fan base that if you say Eris over Aerith, they hate you. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. It's so unnecessary because the English... Original release of the game was Eris because okay. they translated her name by accident, okay. and it was Eris, and it was supposed to be Aerith. So now there's a group of fans that are like, if you say Eris, you're a piece of shit and you're not a true fan. And it's like, if anything, it makes me a truer fan because I remember the fucking original, you stupid bitch. Yeah. But there's what? people like that, and that upsets <laughs> me. That upsets what me more than fuck? anything else that you're nitpicking little shit. Yeah. And being upset about little shit, and it's like, did you have fun? You know, I'm I'm there. With with the internet wrestling community, yeah, <laughs> those people exist everywhere, and they feel like they're the Which, highest level of fan. Randomly like, shout out, asshole. Random shout out, happy birthday to O'Shea Jackson Jr. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because that nigga is one of the niggas that irritates me the most in the internet wrestling. Community. And then you gonna shout out his birthday? No, fuck your birthday. Because, I hope you die. fuck it. Because <laughs> it's one that's Ice Cube son. I don't give a shit. And two, I love Straight Outta Compton. <laughs> It's it don't matter. <laughs> it's Final Fantasy. No, I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm gonna play it. I'm zero. I'm in the process of literally after today's zero dark thirty. No more internet. I've, I'm damn. off of Facebook. I'm off of TikTok. But I'm you not watching YouTube. You? Oh, I was gonna I'm say you watching YouTube. YouTube. God Hulu damn. only from now until after I finish the game. Wow. After I finish the game, you will not be able to call me. You will not be able to text me. You will not be able to get in touch with me. If you need me, me that specifically? Man, everybody. That's crazy. Everybody, if you need That's me. That's crazy. I should be above. Nope. You are known <laughs> as above this game right now. If you need me that desperately, I'm letting Kelly. you know you call 1-800-GO-FUCK-YOURSELF. That's what it is. Hell, I thought you were going to say if you need <laughs> no, me, hit Kelly. No, don't even call her because she going to bother me and be on her phone. And I want nobody on their phones around me. The fuck away from it. We are zero dark thirty as of today. What about TikTok? They, I don't give a they shit. Got I ads on TikTok. Deleted TikTok months ago. They got L. <laughs> I delete. I'm off of TikTok entirely. Don't do the YouTube shorts with mm. your algorithm. You can be fine. Nah, actually, my YouTube shorts algorithm, perfect. It oh, ain't okay. shit, but guns and comedy. That's it. I actually <laughs> enjoy my my my, my <laughs> YouTube shorts is great. 
I I enjoy my short talk rhythm. But it's know. it's been a couple times where I came up with my old algorithm and I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't was know like, if that's good algorithm like, or not. Because that means you are very self centered. No, I like no, I I make the brand of comedy that that, that pops me. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think I ever come up in my own feed. <clears throat> in my own feed? Never. Not once. Well, I it, it was a wrestling game and wrestling shit is in my algorithm. Oh, okay. Yeah. But not okay, so your brand of content. Yeah. Is it, okay. I thought you meant like your content yourself. No, nigga, my short came up oh. while I was scrolling. And I was like, hey, that's nah, hype. I've never had that happen. But that, I also watch my shorts right away though. So oh, that yeah. might be different. But that's more so just to make sure that it went up cleanly. So I, I I was hyped because I knew if I came up for me, I knew I was coming up for other niggas. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I ain't mad at it. I wish I had that. But I think it's more so because I actively go to watch my shit. Yeah. So. It's fine. I need to. I'm fucking up. I, I've been lacking on shorts since, like, October. Same here. <laughs> like, Not that long, but I think it's been it's, three weeks. It's pretty much been since my... My last big con like content day for like clips and shit was before my program started. Okay. So Well yeah, you were just get back to thoroughly it. busy. Yeah. I keep locked in. Creating what the I this put motherfucker. this motherfucker on. Swear I put this motherfucker he waits on to the last recording session to fuck it all up. No, I put it on vibrate. Mm-hmm. And also, god damn it, I know that I, it pissed I try to be a little more understanding mm-hmm. because I'm kinda a spam likely call. A spam likely don't come up when I call. I know what name comes up now when when motherfuckers call when I call motherfuckers okay. at work. Niggas still. Oh, uh, so let me just confirm. Voicemail trolling is still a thing. I thought niggas got rid of that in like 08. It's oh, yeah. still alive and well. I baby. didn't know voicemail trolling. I don't know what voicemail trolling is. So because I don't look or answer for a voicemail. Motherfuckers, uh, set their voicemail. Hi, this is the sperm bank. Or motherfuckers do the hello? What'd you say? Oh my god. I can't god. hear you. Motherfuckers, uh <laughs> That's fucking funny. Niggas and people are still doing it. Niggas are doing it. It is still, alive and well, baby. Are they still like playing fucking genuine Music? songs? Yes. Shit? That's fucking wild. Call the bitch and gospel was playing. I was hype. It was Kirk Franklin. Motherfucker, yes. This niggas no. playing stomp on their voice. Yes. Get the fuck out of no, here. No, niggas is still just as trifling as they have always been. It kind of made me feel good that, <laughs> that, that we didn't advance as much as I thought we had. <laughs> but it's fucked up thing. that we ain't advanced as much as I thought we did. <laughs> no, that is still, still alive okay. and well. That's crazy as fuck. But yeah, I get bad voicemails now. So I, I like answer machines. Okay. But no, I motherfuckers be getting on my nerves. Oh, voicemail. Voicemail. You it's, on, it's on your phone, nigga. It's, go look. It's there. It says voicemail, but <laughs> right. they don't know what the term answering machine is. Uh, we've been through this. Oh, the scenario, yeah. they don't oh, know yeah. certain true, true, terms true, true, that true, just true, translate true. for us is all. True, true, true. I just pull that shit out now cause, just because, yeah, my childhood. We old. That's yeah. all. We're old. Now. <laughs> Damn. I'm Damn. Sorry. Yes. Okay, so for everybody that was born in the year 2000 and now... <laughs> If you was born in the year 2000 and down, phones did not used to store voicemails. Neither. You had to get a separate machine, which is called an answering machine, to store your voicemails. So before you get that deep, back in our time, we used to have a phone that only was in the house. No, niggas still got landline phones. Not as much as you used to. They don't I know. know. I, yeah, yeah, no, like, not as much now. Like, it was the nigga on TikTok that was like, you know, we need to come up with a phone that everybody can use in one household. And I'm just like... Oh, we have advanced too far, my friend. Not only that, I guarantee you motherfuckers don't know what rotary phones are anymore. No, not either. at all. They used, they used to pull that <laughs> shit out of my head using and they're just like... <laughs> <laughs> shit, this is fucking foreign to them. Them pages and beepers? Palm pilots, nigga? It's the, the plug into the wall for the phone. phone no, they don't even know what that they is because they try and throw is. an Ethernet cord in there. They're like, this shit too small. Oof. Like, yeah, no, we're old. We're very old now. So a lot of the little shit just be like, what the fuck is this? (laughs) If them niggas couldn't surf the internet and talk on the phone at the same time, they'd probably kill themselves. Like, I don't don't think these niggas could survive. The concept of using the internet 
<laughs> I don't think niggas can survive in our day. <laughs> like, these are the smartest, dumb motherfuckers that Jesus I ever died for. Always told people that. that. <laughs> and it's not even an insult. No. It's not an insult, but technically speaking, these are the <laughs> dumbest technical people. But I niggas ever know, but they think they know everything. It's wild. It's wild. I feel like I'm millennials. I feel like millennials are honest about the shit we don't know. Oh, at yeah. least to ourselves. Very. Yeah, no. no them motherfuckers gone. They are the epitome of fake it till you make it. No, we're the epitome of fake it till you make it. They just don't care that they don't know. They don't give a shit that they don't know. Like if I they didn't prefer know not knowing. Yeah. They are the, they are the true epitome of ignorance is bliss. Yeah. And they figured it out and I'm trying to get ignorant. That's all I'm saying. I'm trying to get real ignorant. A little bit. I wouldn't mind a little more ignorance in my life. That's all. It ain't bad. It ain't that bad. Like constructive ignorance. <laughs> like, like constructive ignorance. I, no, I was just trying to show the shirt. Yeah, I was just trying to show the shirt. <laughs> I, I don't know which episode is last anymore, so I was just so I was like, nah, fuck it, I'm going to show the merch. This is still Wednesday. I said Monday earlier. This is technically Wednesday. I'm sorry. Everything's all over the place. But, um, yeah, no. I feel bad for coming generations i'm not gonna lie i'm I, not gonna lie i don't feel bad because i feel like they're gonna go through similar growing pains that we did but they're gonna flip harder so many children have phones now like <laughs> like children children yeah. like like i can't like if we like i have it. i know you have to compare it to our childhood yeah no it makes no sense why are you eight oh that's able to answer a phone like why I like why is why do you have a number that is able to be dialable? Like nigga, I still had I was damn near still working with a speaking spell at eight. Like what the fuck is going Hold on? on, nigga. If you still like, like, like I, I get it. Comedy, nigga. I get the comedy. <laughs> comedy. But nigga. let's let's uphold yourself a little bit. It's still Black I'm History just Month. Saying, <laughs> I'm just saying. Like uh, like I call and get kid answered like voice. Like voice machines. Right. Like, why do y'all have it? I and I kind of get it. Not, I really don't. Because even when I Uber, sometimes I Uber children. Yeah, I was going to say, you just talked about that last episode. So it's. Not kids, kids, though. At least them motherfuckers is yeah, at I least 13. Pager at 10. I mean, it was a hand me down page. Like, they didn't go out and get me a pager, nigga. It was just a pager that they like, had. I don't. I, I was that, but now that I think about it, I don't really know how the fuck I did. How the fuck we did survive not having a phone at eight? Very like we easily, just we, like we just got through life. For some reason, life followed all the exact times it needed to. Like niggas was never late. No, niggas was never early. Niggas was just always specifically on time for whatever we needed to be. No, because we planned that shit out. Because again, think about how much planning it took to do anything. Yeah. Like, we planned everything, nigga. You just had to drive somewhere. You had to go pull up MapQuest. I was just for the say, remember having to download, having to print out them bitches? Shit was wild. And yeah. Like, All right, hold on. You had to take a left turn here. You got to have somebody with a writing utility. You, you got to have a fucking co-pilot because somebody got to check off what the fuck you mm, already did. What we already did. <laughs> you mix it up. You fucked. <clears throat> you really fucked. What's crazy when I was growing up, we didn't use MapQuest. You just we had didn't a map. have a yeah, we didn't have a printer, so we just bought one of those huge maps. The atlases, yeah. yeah. I and used to do that too. That's we used to do that used. once. Fuck no. That you shit, ain't never used an atlas before. Take up the whole goddamn dash. You that's finna crash the at- out. Because the Atlas nigga sits in the back. <laughs> no. Matt nigga sits in the back no. front his co-pilot. That nigga was in, always in the front. You finna have the dumbass kids in the back reading no, the map? No, you just sit them in the you sit the map nigga in the back. He no. sits on the opposite side, so map is opposite the driver. Co-pilot runs the center console so the driver can focus on the road. No. Then we talking Co-pilot about... Co-pilot was doing the map shit, too. No, nah, fuck that. Day. Well, maybe in yours, but... Co-pilot my... was a fucking busy, nigga. Wasn't no sleeping. No, co-pilot... <laughs> Wasn't no sleeping on the road, bitch. But the co-pilot <laughs> was in the back, because the co-pilot... Our co-pilot was back, opposite the driver, because he had to watch the kids and the map. Co-pilot was watching the road and handling the shit on the dash... Because back in them days, once shit on the steering wheel, and uh, the driver yeah. couldn't keep his hands off the steering wheel because probably wasn't even power steering for certain cars back then. So it no. took some effort <laughs> to move some of them stanking Lincolns. For us, it was <laughs> one of the kids actually paid attention to the road. And it was like, all right, you turn here. And one of the kids did it. 
So right, but y'all had more shit to look for though. Yeah, y'all had I, there was less deer roads. Like yeah, there was less roads, but it was always the oldest kid was the the map person. The next oldest was a deer watcher, so watching for the deers coming onto the road, which was a serious job. That's a serious job, I thought. <laughs> and then I drove them roads. Them roads is not just like you can look. No, you gotta especially pay like after six. I mean, it's, it's funny, but it's not. I mm-hmm. had a. I had a friend in Mississippi hit a deer with a car, and, it's and, serious. and he went to the hospital. Yeah, right. <laughs> deer was straight. No, they <laughs> the deer was okay. Yeah, yeah they're all deer. Safe, deer don't never get hurt by no, a car. They're, they're always. I saw a real life deer on eighty seventh at King Drive. It wasn't yeah. eighty seventh at King Drive. It was eighty seventh at Halsted. Oh yeah, they that's about where they be at. Running yeah. down the street. That shit blue mines. Fucking, I've seen many a deer out that way. Um. The one thing I'm still scared of now that I've heard and seen what they can do, I'm terrified of moose. Wait, what? Why is a moose anywhere near here? They're, I mean, further north, obviously, oh. but still. No, I'm just terrified of the day that I'm going to have to deal with that situation. Why? Because them niggas don't die. Okay. okay. They're, like, they're like deer on, the best way I can put it, a deer is like Daniel Bryan to a moose is Brock Lesnar. Like, them niggas is huge. Put it this way. When I was driving for driving semi trucks, they said if you see anything on four legs, you hit it. If it's a moose, try not to die. Like you can hit that bitch with a semi and that motherfucker ain't moving. <laughs> them niggas are the Hulk. <laughs> and them niggas are scary. The sound that fucking deer make sounds is just like death. It sounds like warmed over death mm-hmm. in the distance. I don't fuck with I don't fuck with moose. Like I think the average height height of a moose is like nine feet, right? They always made they always made bullwinkles look so friendly. She right? that nigga was the ad, was an anorexic moose too. Yeah, no, he was an anorexic. That moose. nigga did not eat at all. No, moose are just like I think average is like eight to nine feet. I think you said. Uh, so now watch they be like the a thirteen. Pound, what's feet? the poundage? <laughs> Maybe tons. So this is by the shoulder, but on. By their shoulder. You got to measure some shit by the shoulder. That shit big as hell. <laughs> yeah. So, they measured Dwight Howard by the shoulder. That was big than a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> shit. So uh. this doesn't even include the head or the, the huge antlers. antlers. They're six to nine, six to eight feet. So they, damn. About, they about nine. Six to nine feet without antlers or head. Mm-hmm. Uh, damn. damn, I was way off there. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking the whole thing was like eight to nine What's feet. What's the poundage? They can be males are uh eight hundred and forty to fifteen hundred pounds. There you go. Females are a little lighter, but they're four hundred and forty to a hundred. You are running to a brick <laughs> a thousand one hundred. Better hope you yeah. hit a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you better hope it's a girl. And they said elk, which is the you know the ball form. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, elk are not that far off either. So elk are pretty big, too. and I think elk are more aggressive, aren't they? I think so. Th- during mating season, right? Yes. Like them, them niggas will fuck you up. Yes, moose don't give a shit about nothing. They just stand there, and you ain't yeah. doing nothing to it. Uh, you know, I found out that one of the biggest murderers in nature is a hippo. Yeah, you didn't know that? No. Yeah, them niggas is devious. Them niggas are extra. De- Have you seen their teeth? Also, penguins. I'd be feeling bad for penguins. I thought penguins are rapist. Penguins will fucking kill each other with no abandon. Yeah. That motherfucker will look but like a John were... Moxley match. Like, <laughs> it's just fucking real fucked up what a penguin will do to a, to his brethren. <laughs> Again, I don't trust any animal that project, projectile shits. Like, nah, fuck no. Every five minutes. Yes. Every five fucking minutes. And Make sure you, your mic is on. Say that shit again for no, people yeah, in the back. No, yeah, I did. No, I every worked, five minutes, and not like a penguins. little shit. Like, and when I mean projectile, I mean they over here, and that shit squirts over there. Yeah, <laughs> and they don't give a fuck. It's like ha. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and then walk off like they didn't just shit three feet. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I need. I, oh, one day I'm gonna just get high and watch the animal planet again. <laughs> Apparently, sea lions <laughs> are assholes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go to the aquarium with uh, us? You I'm know, saying, I, do. I need to take you. Cause yeah, like you've know. never been. I was supposed to. What? Uh, whack yeah, ass bitch. Listen. <laughs> I feel like a lot of shit is coming full circle in this episode already. <laughs> Did we not touch everything <laughs> already in half hours? Okay, I'm going to go to the planetarium. 
better be. <laughs> <laughs> now we can take a trip to the the. Uh, I know you know enough people still in there. We're gonna get the hookup. We're gonna get the special treatment. <laughs> All right, on that note, let's go uh, to a commercial break, and then we'll come back. And if you get a wildlife uh, humanities ad, let us know in the comments. <laughs> but don't donate to those people. <laughs> Fuck them. Fuck Susan Sarandon. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Nonsense Podcast, the final recording fuck. day. Please give a fuck. This nigga, Please really? give a fuck. I swear to God. I, it's a, Now look, I know you don't fuck with iPhones, but that motherfucking, that, that, that switch is switched. And this bitch just keep talking to me. God damn, man. Don't you have a, like a do not disturb mode? Nigga, I, it's on. The <laughs> yeah. switch is switched. It's switched to switch, and that shit don't work. Goddamn iPhone users. It's on 11. <laughs> I I was I've been telling y'all that Google Pixel the Google Pixel call it a nigga. Yeah, I wouldn't be between that and the OnePlus, I wouldn't be mad if you got either one of those. But both of those are still considered Android, so I mean it is what it is. I just say anything outside of iOS is it's it's time, man. As a tech head, I feel like you would have more fun floating around with Android. Just just throwing that out there. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with iPhone. I'm not an iPhone hater. I'm just saying, it's a lot of shit y'all don't have mm-hmm. that I'd be like, why don't you have this? Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. still just on the side of why the fuck can't y'all organize your, your apps the way you want to? Like, that's weird. Like, it's not even important. It's just weird that you can't. <laughs> like, I'm not even, it's not a shit on Apple. It's just the fact that you can't, I'm just like, why though? Mm-hmm. Like, why is that a thing that they're just like, they don't need to organize how they feel like? Like, I can. I've better corner. <laughs> I can I can do alphabetical date of download. I can fucking make my own folders if I want to. I can shit. I can organize them in a circle if I want to. Like fuck it. I think I can put. I can do folders. Okay. Just I didn't know you could do folders. Like yeah. that's just wild. Like I didn't know. I've never seen an iPhone user with their apps organized at all. They're always oh. just alphabetical order. Nah, like I got a work, a folder for just work work related apps. You know podcast related apps. Me too. Fucking food, like all my ordering apps, all right there, all my shopping shit. I didn't know. That's all. Yeah. Uh, deep dive into my shit. I got Google. I got entertainment, which is just all my streaming shit. Right. Okay. I didn't know you had, got, like, little uh, pockets. That's all. I got games, but I I, I download games, but I don't play fucking Me either. Me either. Finance, all my banking apps and shit. I'm mad that you got Amazon in your finance. That's a piss poor... <laughs> That motherfucker was damn sure getting they thirteen dollars a month. That was, that was a bill. <laughs> that was a bill for sure. I'm sorry. And I wasn't even ordering shit like that. I, like that, I was the nigga with Amazon Prime that wasn't ordering the fucking thing. Yeah, no, I, I would gladly get rid of Amazon Prime if I ain't using it. I did. Hey, we're taking it right. We just got rid of Amazon Prime today, but we also have Amazon Business. So, mm-hmm. thanks Amazon. Speaking of Amazon, I would just like to say this before we get into the meat of the episode. Too. I was finna say, since we shitting on phones, you heard you did, uh, I was blissfully unaware of all that AT and T shit. Oh, that nobody's phone was working yeah. for a couple days. Yeah, I was I was streaming. I ain't <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody else told me after the fact, and I'm like, oh no, my phone was fine all day. Yeah, like <laughs> uh... like I didn't know y'all was having issues. I thought it was weird. Towards the end of the day, I just got a shit ton of text messages from everybody. I'm like, that was weird. And then went on my day. And it was yeah. like, was your phone okay yesterday? And I'm like, I guess. Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> I went through my thing? day. Damn AT&T users. Mm. <laughs> but no, what I was getting to is uh, fucking Walmart. I'm going to need Walmart to die. I it, mean, it, I'm I'm still mourning the 183rd. No, nah, fuck. I need them all to go. For the simple reason. Y'all need to do one or, one or two things. And I've been saying this for a while, but now I got a solution. You either A, get rid of self-checkout. Cause either I work there or I don't work there. <laughs> like I'm gonna start using a break room at Amazon at, at Walmart now. Cause if I gotta go in there and check out some more shit, and then go to the front door and then rehab my shit checked out again, like I don't work here, nigga. Oddly, like, I'm so sick of all this extra shit I gotta check do. At, the self check out at a lot of jewels have been down recently. Yeah, no, the I'm fuck is that about? all of the, all of the self checkout shit. I need y'all niggas to either fucking update or get rid of it. Cause none of you niggas is working. No. I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing the niggas at self checkout. The two things you gotta do, you ain't even doing. If my Give me shit, bags, put the bags in the thing, and when I'll I take this off, take it off, 
When it says check my D, bring your ass over there. Yeah. When the light flashes red, yo sh- your ass should be walking in my direction. If I see you on your phone like this, fired. I feel like I should be able to fire you. Just <laughs> fucking I work here now. <laughs> Cause I'm scanning items and shit. So I should have the authority to fire your punk ass. So either get rid of that shit and just go back to cashiers. I was fine with the cashiers. Even the slow cashiers I was fine with. It was annoying, but... No, because I go... I frequent Black Jewels, and then motherfuckers got the combination of no self-checkout and then limited hours. Like, where the fuck is your staff? None. Like, None to be existing. Where the fuck is your staff But at? then at the same time, don't even have niggas stocking shelves and shit. No. Like, I've had to go to grocery stores. Where is stores your staff? And then be like, can you go get that shit out the back? I know you got it. Like, if you got to ask a nigga at the grocery store to get some shit out the back, ain't nobody working. Where is your staff? So... My case, boy, one or the other. Self checkout and let me work, or because but I'm a you. I'm a be that like I'm working, nigga. I'm gonna take breaks. Yeah, I'm gonna eat snacks in the middle of the aisle. Like I don't give a fuck. I expect a check <laughs> two weeks. Something yeah. shit. I'm gonna use your break room. I'm gonna charge my phone or some shit use somewhere. Your microwave. On the real, like I should be able to fuck around if I work here now. That's all I'm saying. I, I should fuck around like I worked there. So either remove that shit and get then get cashiers or B because I just recently went to an Amazon store again. Y'all niggas got to update to Amazon. I'm not a big fan of Monopolies, but damn it, Amazon you know, stores got it figured the fuck out. That, I've seen pictures of the Amazon Fresh shit, and that should be Shit's looking on fresh. point. The food is I on wouldn't point. mind it. Fuck it. Replace 87th, 83rd and Stewart. That's a, oh, all of them. I guarantee you they're not going to do a fucking thing with that building. Come on, Amazon. No, because, and you know why I know they won't have a problem with Amazon? Because when you walk in that bitch, they have you scan your shit. So your Amazon account is already popped. Mm-hmm. Walk out of there with something. Mm-hmm. They charged you. Mm-hmm. They didn't already charge you. You don't, take it off nigga, the shelf. Don't, pick up, don't pick up some shit too dumb and stare at the shit too long, nigga. You are, go, yeah. It's already in your account. Now like, you got to call a nigga over to take it off. Yeah, I, I already tested it. You pick that shit off the shelf, and then you look at your cart. Because it got your Amazon account on the cart. It's already like, you picked this up, you must want it. <laughs> if you put it in your cart, it's confirming some shit. Yeah. And when you walk out there, though, no bag, you ain't got to go to a checkout line or nothing. You walk the fuck out. All your shit's already checked out and paid for. Yeah. You can't make it to the front fucking door without yeah. them charging all your shit. Now, however, can I add Snap to that motherfucker? Probably. Okay. Yeah. I, I wouldn't see why not. So, fuck it. DoorDash actually added that, but you can add, you can add your EBT card I'm all for to DoorDash. It. Let the broke nigga shot. <laughs> for her groceries. I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Is EBT not for broke niggas? Excuse me. <laughs> you feel some type of way about that? I apologize. I want the broke niggas to shop. Nigga, have your fun. Buy you some shit. <laughs> but in all actuality, if you make it available for more shit, you ain't got to worry about niggas misusing it. True. Because a lot of motherfuckers sell it for drug money, which I would which if you will realize it. by standing in line at your, at your nearest SNAP benefit office, them niggas is getting high yeah. off SNAP money, mainly the Venezuelans. Oh, definitely, now. And then now they're taking it away from babies and mamas with children and shit. Because the Venezuelans trying to get up there. Feel like being real mad today? Go ahead. <laughs> so our beloved mayor, Mr. Brandon Johnson. I keep forgetting that nigga's name. <laughs> <laughs> I got to gotta make sure. Like, I, I feel bad for you on this break period of us not working. You're just going to be out of the news in a loop of a lot I'm of shit. I'm still going to call you. <laughs> I'm going to feel bad if World War Three kick off. You have Nigga, no you're going to be bad. I'm still going to pull up every week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck we do it. <laughs> Nigga, I'm going I'm to come watch you play fucking remake. Or some shit. Um, so, no, our wonderful mayor, Mayor Brandon <laughs> Johnson of Chicago. Um, You know, we've had an, a, another influx of Venezuelans and whatnot. So they coming back. Not just Venezuelans. Yeah, mostly, weirdly enough, mostly Chinese and Indians Mm -hmm. and a couple Africans if you want to throw them in the mix. But either way, so we have an influx of immigrants. um, And they built this nice facility for them where they can go get food and shelter and whatnot. And um, apparently they were wasting a lot of money on food. The Venezuelans and shit weren't eating the food. They were just refusing. So they were losing 
and don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty damn close. Almost thirteen thousand dollars a month. They were just losing on wasted food that they already claim they don't have. Right. So you know what was his good idea? Tax the niggas. <laughs> Uh, they're already going to up your pro- property tax, by the way. Vote no on December 3rd. <laughs> you should vote, motherfucker. Yeah. You got some shit to vote on if you're in Chicago. Um, they're, they're getting ready to up our property taxes. Um, so, no, his bright idea was to um, get them niggas debit cards with $10,000 on them bitches per person. Can I go? Like, how, <laughs> long, how long do you have to live in Venezuela to be considered a migrant? I don't know. Like, can I go oh, over there, visit for a weekend, and then be considered? Like, I think you have to renounce your citizenship, but I mean, I, at this point, that don't seem at like a this point, <laughs> they can live better than me. They ain't got to pay taxes. They ain't got to pay rent. They ain't got to buy and groceries. Somehow, them niggas can still sign up for Uber. <laughs> like, how the, how the fuck did you get the ID and the registration? And a car. <laughs> just so many questions that I had. So many unanswered questions. I don't know. All I know is them niggas got 10 G's per person. And I thought either A, I need to become a migrant, or B, I'm going to start robbing them. I was like, going to say. I like, never thought, had criminal thoughts in my mind before, but I might start robbing me some immigrants because apparently they got it. They got it. And they got it all. They got it made. Like, I'm, I'm fucking up. Like... If you're a criminal out there, if you're one of them hood, hoodlums and gangsters and, and all and whatnot, uh, stop robbing niggas and start robbing immigrants. I think that might be the move now. I'm just saying, don't rob your own people and rob the niggas that actually got it. And it sounds like they all got $10,000 debit cards. Circulate. Fuck it. You always, you want to be Robin Hood? Be it then, nigga. Rob the rich and give it to the needy. <laughs> and, the, and them rich that niggas. motherfuckers is rich. 10 G's. That's what I said. You 10 know G's. What the fuck I could do with 10 G's right now? Right now? Right now, nigga? I'd be First there. of all, <laughs> we'd have a we'd have a studio. An actual one. <laughs> like <laughs> not curtains. With locks on the door and keys. <laughs> we had a motherfucking wrestling ring in the back for the for the dumb, for the other dumb shit we got playing. Right. We'd have a fucking Tyler Perry studio at this point. Not with 10 G's. Hold on, nigga. Like, Both of us? That's 20. That's 20. A band of man. Like Tory Lance play, play a band of man. <laughs> look, we can look. The dream work. Teamwork make the dream work, I'm nigga. not saying that, nigga, but have you been out here in the real estate market <laughs> no. in this city? Just <laughs> no. calm down a little bit. Let's be real. I'm saying, we can go to Indiana. I would drive 30 minutes to our own shit. I'd probably just move to Tennessee at that point, though, and then we'll start rebuilding from now. Word. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Tennessee. A lot of people. Or Austin. I'm just and Austin ain't got no taxes. Actually, <laughs> taxes at all. hit us up, man. Fuck them <laughs> taxes. <laughs> it's just big enough that it be having shit going on, but just small enough where most of the shit going on you got to drive to. So I liked Austin a lot. I, I we got to give it a shot again. I understand Kelly is hot. She don't do sun like n- like ninety is already too hot. Tennessee hot. I know. <laughs> like, I know. So- it's how you can tell we all from the hood, by the way. There <laughs> one pop and everybody was getting ready to run. <laughs> <laughs> it, I knew it was going to happen at one point during this recording. <laughs> <laughs> got to learn to sit still, my guy. Sit still. Relax. Be like water, my friend. <laughs> Be like water. Have you, oh. I'm finna ask the wrong nigga. What? I was say, have you given the Avatar live action a shot? Oh, no, I don't have Amazon or Netflix. So. I don't. <laughs> Never mind. Don't I mean nothing. <laughs> but um, apparently it's very good. I've heard both sides. I've heard it's very good, but also For some reason, the critics it. are shitting on it. But actual humans that I've been hearing have been pretty good. I think that's how it typically goes now. Because critics are pushing bullshit. And fans actually like shit, so. I still have not given a look at you, Hawker Show. No? I'm, I'm surprised I'm, that I'm, wasn't what you were Yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. I don't be watching shit. Me either. I understand that. Although, we did start finally, because you were harping at Kelly, and I've been wanting to watch it, we finally started watching Abbott Elementary. Mm. Really good show. Mm-hmm. It's really good. It's The Office for niggas. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. They got, it's all, I don't know why nobody just didn't say that. Like, <laughs> just said it's The Office for niggas. Because it's not a fully black cast. Majority. It's mostly black. It, it's yeah. mostly nigga shit, though, is what I'm saying. Yeah. And again, for the umpteenth time, niggas don't mean black always. And it's, just, it's like... <laughs> 
I I knew you would like it specifically because you've been in schools. Yeah, no, I all of that shit was very accurate. Yeah. Down to the the useless ass principal that gets paid way too much money. Yeah, yeah, no, that's all. It's the most accurate shit I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's sad. It's very sad. <laughs> like if you don't understand how public school systems work, watch, watch that elementary. Watch that show. They got it down to a T. Yeah, like perfect. My fucking teacher just beat it well. Getting on the ladder and trying to fix some electrical shit they sell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, them, them new niggas. That's new niggas for damn sure. Because all the other ones that's been there was like, mm-hmm. get your stupid ass off that ladder. We ain't getting pension yet. Mm-hmm. Fuck out of here with that. Ten years, and then you can do all of that goofy shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it made it, every episode made me smile. No, no, it was it was it was great. And the fucking um I can never remember his actual name. Tyler? Yeah, everybody hates Chris Nick, yeah. Tyler, yeah. Greatest performance I think he's ever done so far. Like 100%. for real. We just get past. I know we're still early in. That nigga was just like me for real. Like, and so it shit was like, I can't believe this yeah. shit is happening. <laughs> Do you see this shit? <laughs> I can't be the only one seeing this shit. Now his his stare off into the camera is crisp. <laughs> but no, I think the most the hardest I laugh. I had to rewind that shit three times. We made it to the fucking gardening episode yeah. where he just flipped the fuck out, yeah. and I'm like, I know this nigga didn't just pop off hard for fucking side. <laughs> like, hold up. Like, this thing is mad than a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And I love it. I love it 100%. So, great. One of the best shows I've seen. I know I'm late to the game, but no, I'm typically like, always late to shit like that, but. I still haven't seen season three, the new season that's out. Yeah, yeah. no, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. we still got a ways to go to get through season one. Yeah, so, no. We'll catch up, though. Enjoy the journey. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm a rush. I think I'm at that point in my life where I like I don't care what everybody else says. Like I'm I'm working on my time. Yeah. And I found the show now, and I'm gonna watch the show now. We watching that and Animal Control. That's like our two shows to watch during. What's Animal Control? It's sirens with animals. Have you seen Sirens? No. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna need you to look up and watch Sirens. Sirens is probably the best Chicago show I've ever seen. Period. That's is it the, like Chicago PD? It's Chicago PD, but it's. Comedy for okay. ambulance niggas. Oh, that's okay. all it is. Ooh, so it probably go fucking wild funny. shit on it's there. Probably. Wild <laughs> shit. I think the second episode they had to go to a dude's house downtown because he had a bottle shoved up his ass, and then instead <laughs> of taking him to the hospital, they just drove down Michigan Avenue with all the potholes until it popped out. It was the wildest shit in the world. And I was like, this is the most accurate shit. Okay, I'm about to check that out. And what's the one with animals? Uh, no. Animal control. Animal control, okay. No, the one... You're talking about Sirens. Yeah, I was talking about Sirens. So Sirens is the, right. the ambulance show. And uh, the, the one with that one, um, there's a big black gay guy as the... It's the, my favorite gay character <laughs> of all time, by the way. As the, the second main character. And he He's makes the hilarious. show, I'm I I'm at that age where if I don't write some shit down, it's going to be lost to the ether. No, I believe you. I understand. <laughs> Dude, as soon as you pulled it to the phone, I understood a thousand percent. Again, I don't know how you don't take notes without a pen, though. That's just still weird, weird to me. But I mean, to each his own. <laughs> that's, probably, that's where I get all my typing practice from, mainly mm. nowadays. With your thumbs? Yeah. Right. I, again, I ain't judging. It's, just, it's interesting. You got a cup with ice. You <laughs> just like I take mine to the head. Okay, whatever works. Uh, but no, Simon's is a great show. I love that show. Hands down, my favorite, my favorite gay character of all time, because he's gay without being in the way. It's the best way you can. And I know that sounds really fucked up to say, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's like my brothers can definitely be in the way and then be too much. Too much, right? He's <coughs> he, and I don't mean like he's not acting gay. He's yeah. very gay. Yeah, he's very very gay. Yeah. But it's not his character. His character is just, he knows what he is. He's gay, but he has a character base outside of being gay. Mm-hmm. So, became my favorite gay character of all time. Favorite gay character is uh, Mr. Two from One Piece. The nigga with the, ball- oh, the yeah, ballerina yeah. nigga that, that kicks. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've seen him before. I haven't watched the show, so I apologize. <laughs> before anybody else dumps on me. Kelly, you got a favorite gay character? That's a weird question for the day. Can we throw that up on the floor? <laughs> I feel like that would get us banned so fast. <laughs> What's your favorite gay uh, character? I don't know if I that's don't in... know. I don't know if it's in poor taste. I feel like that's given credence, though. Like I was... feel like it is, but somebody's like, It's gonna... like a big up. Again, somebody going fi- to somebody gonna gonna be pissed. say that and then look at our show yeah. as much as I gay bash and then be like, he hate this is a setup. No, like this certain gay character I think are fucking entertaining. Yeah. That's all. You happen to be gay. You also are very entertaining. There's some there's some gay characters that make the shows for me. 100%. The motherfuckers uh, would not be the same without them. 
Sirens is one of them, is all I'm saying. That show would not work without the gay character. 100%. Like, and, uh, the gay nigga on Soul Plane. That nigga was yes. the fucking greatest. And he's not gay at all. But yeah, no, not in real life. Right, yeah. But every character he's ever played, it seems like it fits perfectly. And it's never a necessary character, but it's yeah. like you need him here because you take yeah. him out. The fuck is this movie? The fucking wheelchair dad on uh on Malcolm in the Middle. Uncle Ruckus. Uncle Ruckus. He plays. A, does he actually voice Uncle Ruckus, or is that just a thing he does? No, he actually plays yeah, Uncle Ruckus. He, yeah. 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 And then the dude from Harold and Kumar. Yeah. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> just chilling in the jail cell. Oh, here we go. <laughs> they fucked him up. They fucked him up. They really fucked him up. Yeah, shout out to the to to great gay characters and great back big great background characters that are needed. Mm. Sometimes sometimes you don't have to be the main character. One day we gotta bring back the Bobbies as some We do. I wanna start doing that again. Maybe during season four, because again, I, I needed time to develop this version of the show. Yeah. Now that it's developed, I think we can start adding shit back to it. Right. Um and we might do it in this setup, because I can kind of figure out how to do it. So no, like we can do, we can just go back to doing watch parties. Like I'm fine with just because we can, I, we can just get another TV, put it in here, move the cameras back, and then just do the bobbies in here, and actually watch the whole movie, all of us together. Not a bad idea. Comment below if you want the uh, watch alongs to come back. Those are really fun. Can comment, I- comment if there if you were there for the old watch alongs too. Them shout, shit's- shout out my nigga Velocipastor. <laughs> Velocipastor, uh, Lama Geddon. Llama oh getting God. popped so damn hard. <laughs> and I was mad, not in a bad way, but I was mad that that was probably the best stream I had ever had. I've watched <laughs> uh, so many. I'll be on Tubi a lot. And I'll be looking for some bullshit. <laughs> but I've been, but like, so I've I've done two, I've done three Tubi adventures so far. Oh my God. Two of them were actually good fucking movies. One was Deadly Dilf. <laughs> Why did that sound like a fucking dashy movie or some shit? <laughs> Deadly diff pulse. <laughs> and the other, I forgot the other one. What the other one was called? No, the other one was called uh, Hall Pass. I think it was called Hall Pass, and not the Kevin Hart movie. I was gonna say like the Kevin Hart. No, movie? no, 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 no. no. Wait, I think oh, it was not Marriage Pass. Maybe it it's called Marriage Pass. Okay. That was good as fuck, and then there was there was the third time is when I actually got the terrible shit. That mm-hmm. were like the fucking flip phone camera type oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, it was a it was a two thousand eight movie about repos, repo men. Yeah, you definitely made it to. <laughs> yeah, I, I got I got what I was looking for on that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, Tubi got some gems. I miss staying up late and watching shit movies on. I guess back then it was Channel Ten. Probably AMC. No, I'm talking about the fucking the what, what do you call it? The like local bullshit. The telenovelas. No, nigga, it's not Mexican. It's like your local TV station. Uh, Channel what? 19. Was it 19? Yeah, it, it was, was 19. Because we had oh, uh, it was that one show that was like the grassy but for super niggas. Right. <laughs> the, the Awakening. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yo, if uh, yo. That was that was a young that was a young Hino's goal was to make it on the Awakening one day, boy. I mean that that's what you wanted. I I swear that's what I wanted because I I felt like I had to make it in my hood before I could make it in the world. You weren't making <laughs> it in the world, it, and I was gonna make it in the hood if I ended up Channel on the Awakening. Nineteen was a Chicago only. Exactly, station. I was gonna make it in the hood first, oh, okay, and then good. transcend, boy. That was some nigga uh, shit. What is that? What is that channel technically called? It's I think it's called like UCAN or some no, shit. No, like what? Because every city has that. It's like your local local access. Local access, right? Yeah, your local access channel. That was our local access. Cause I had that one old black lady that used to cook on there. Mm-hmm. Shout out to that lady. She still make content too. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm glad she. I'm glad she switched the game up to right. digital. So no, she made it to digital. I don't know. Not if she's everybody dead now. acclimates. Right? No, she acclimated and she she was popping for a minute, like when she first switched over. So shout out to her. Yeah, bring back local ac- access. I guess yeah. you have YouTube, but yeah. but having it like most of the people are just gonna go to YouTube. But no, like you need checks and balances. Is the best way I can put it. Like 
But somebody's like, look, man, you can't just be putting bullshit out consistently. They give they give most niggas on YouTube a bag before they give a nigga a local access bag. Yeah, because they got to run ads on that shit. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Get your funny up. You're going to have to get ads anyway. You might as well take it to digital where you can distribute it in more places. True. Very true. But I felt like it was just a local access is what made and broke a lot of motherfuckers in this yeah. world, I felt like. And yeah. I, Ice JJ Fish started on local access. I, I feel like I know one of them niggas from Awakening that went on to do action movies. See? Ain't nothing wrong with local access. That nigga might have been in that 2008 repo movie. <laughs> I don't know. Think about it. I oh, my it. God. I, I do, too. <laughs> I actually ate it here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bumba. <laughs> are, we, are we way over on time now? Damn. All right. So, I don't think we're going to get to Spider-Man still. Unless you think we can pull it off in 30? Yeah. Fuck it. Let's do it. Because I, I, I don't want to leave everything open-ended. I don't want to leave everything open-ended. And the, the debate of the season was the best Spider-Man in movie form. Now, we're only doing movie form. And at the original state of that argument, there was no Spider-Verse yet. That's how old that argument is, now that I think about yeah. it. There was no Spider-Verse when no. we originally had that episode done. No, we were waiting for the movie to come out. Damn. It's a we were talking one. about that bitch because the movie was coming out. Right. The first one. Holy shit. Yeah. All right. So laying down the ground rules so everybody knows what's going on. But before we get too far, mics are still working. I hate everything's still I recording. Hate that <laughs> spoiler alert. I'm kinda I'm not as passionate about this argument as I want to. Because yeah, because I talked you down thoroughly and then you kinda opened up a little bit. So I appreciate it. Um but I still would like to state the facts that are the facts. So the parameters of this argument is only the three Spider Man. That are, are accounted for. Toby, Toby, Andrew, and Tom. That's it. Them three only. Yes. Who is the best? We're taking them at full value. And when I mean full, full value, value is everything that has to do with them being Spider-Man. Everything that has to do with them being Spider-Man. So for Andrew, you can bring up the entirety of him in the MCU. I'm fine Tom. with that as an argument. Tom. Yeah. So Tom, Tom is part of the MCU. So everything that has to do with MCU, you can bring into his argument. Um, sadly enough, Andrew doesn't have as much outside, but he has two games, and he was in the last MCU movie. Yeah, and so was and so goes for uh, Toby. Toby, Jesus Christ. So, originally, you were Team Tom. How do you feel now? now I know you said you're less passionate. Are you still Team Tom though? I feel like. I'm still Team Tom. Okay. But Toby does contribute to why I'm Team Tom still. Okay. Like, them coming together does contribute to actually pushing me further toward Tom. Okay. Um, I was, to be candid, blatantly disrespectful. Yes, no. To Toby. Most people... Blatant, most, blatantly disrespectful to Toby. I think Mainly most because Tom of three. Are, most Toms are disrespectful to Toby. Mainly because of three, but mainly because I... So my issue, I have actual kind of like beef with the first two. Okay. I feel like Toby was a great Peter Parker. I feel like his in Spider Man, but he's also you could also argue that for that character in that time frame, it he needed to be that serious, but I felt like he was too serious of a Spider Man. Okay, I feel like Andrew was a great Spider Man, not necessarily the best Peter. The nigga was, the nigga was a fucking. Sexy. He looked like he could have been on the fucking football team. Too handsome. He was... Too handsome. He was Spider-Man Unlimited Spider-Man. For some reason, he looked exactly like that nigga. Like, they should have just did that. I think that's that's where they kind of drew him from. Yeah. Andrew. And I feel like Tom physically still looks like a nerd. Like, no matter how Jack they could get, he... he, Believable believable nerd. Uh, With the quippiness of... Spider-Man, 
even in death. Like the nigga was funny turning into dust. Right. Like it's like <laughs> like I don't bl- I don't I will say this just because I'm not going to interrupt you much, but his death being funny is more on us as the human race and less of the that was a yeah. serious sad moment. <laughs> yeah, and, true. You know, I'm just going to say that. <coughs> we memed the fuck out of that. <laughs> I don't think that was meant to be a memeable moment. But I I feel like you don't really get, especially with the last movie, you don't get Tom without the first two. Now, because of meeting the first two, he is going to be a better Spider-Man now. Mm-hmm. So you so that's why it's I'm I'm really not even like sour on Andrew anymore. Right. I, I appreciate all three mm-hmm. in the context of I don't really think this is the last time all three of them are gonna be in the MCU. No, they've like very, they've, they've very much like they bring so. Andrew back and I'm pretty sure they bring Toby back. Yeah. So okay, let, let's put it this way. If you could possibly erase um the last Spider Man movie out of your mind. Okay. With all three of them together. Okay. You remove that. Okay. I'm assuming that would still put that would push you further. As just the tomboy. It sounds terrible to say, but you know what I mean. No, I would. Or that would lessen. It would lessen. Really? Yeah. Okay. I really appreciate what meeting them did for him. Okay. And is going to do for him. Okay. Um. Second is Toby. I hate, I, I really dislike a lot of Spider-Man 3, but his games are undeniable. Um, Very so. I feel like I feel like Toby is probably the closest to my actual favorite Spider-Man, which is now the Insomniac. Mm-hmm. I feel like he's the closest representation, especially of Peter, to that. Right. So, yeah. And again, it I, was a lot more fiery, y'all. No, <laughs> like, it, it was. was like it was like it was wild. It was a but wild was, conversation. I think it's because my arguments kind of chipped away at it. Yeah, that too. So that's why I wanted you to go first, so I can not rechip at your arguments, but lay out why my arguments made sense. I'm and I wanted to be very thorough. I've never not been a Toby. I've always been Team Toby. There will be no other Spider Man. Actually, what ended up happening is because of the last movie. I now recognize the other two. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even recognizing the other two niggas as Spider Man. <laughs> the last movie gave me like okay. They're not that bad. Yeah. They're just, it's like the GOAT conversation when it comes to sports. Yeah. It's my GOAT's way up there. And you niggas was down here with me. And I can't look at you as better because you're down here with me. Now you're up a little bit. And I'm like, you know what? All right, you can get the throne of Spider-Man now. All right, so here's my thought. My thoughts have been always, it's almost the mere, mere exact opposite of yours. I feel like Tom is the best Peter, or Tom is the best, the best, yeah, Tom Holland's the best Peter because he's young. Mm-hmm. That's really all I got for him. Because he's young. I don't believe his nerd as much as everybody else, mm-hmm. but I do give him his young naivety. Mm-hmm. His young naivety is really what makes him a better Peter Parker mm-hmm. than most. Whereas Andrew, I think everybody's on the same side. Andrew killed it as Spider Man. Mm-hmm. I went back and rewatched the, the Amazing Spider Man. Funny as They're funny hell. As shit. And I'm like, damn, why did I hate this so much? And then I remember it. Because of the villains. The villains, the villains are dog shit. <laughs> because of the villains. The villains were dog and shit. I, but that's also one of my favorite things from 3. He re-acknowledged it. it. They acknowledged it. Then, damn, my villains was ass. Yeah. As compared to, nigga, you went to space? You went to space? <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> fought a fuck? fucking goo alien and yeah. I had a black dude version of Electro. Like, yeah. this is kind of shit. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, he had terrible villains, and that's why. But even in that, he made the best of it. Mm. His quips unmatched, I feel like, in a certain sense. And, yeah, just the only thing is his villains in his suit. I never will like his suit. Uh-huh. The Amazing Spider-Man, his Amazing Spider-Man suit, is, is just too glossy. It's okay. way too glossy, and I just couldn't stand it. Understood. Where and then When it comes to Toby, Toby, I feel like, it just encapsulates everything about it. So... You have to remember, high school Peter didn't last long. He was They were out of high school at the end of the, like, damn near the beginning of the the first movie. Word. So, it really wasn't long of high school, so everybody's saying he was too old. They were, I hope you remember when you were in high school. Them niggas look old. Most high schools kind of look 
a little older versus the first few niggas that go to high school. It's some niggas that look too old to be in that bitch, though. Like, you True. need to get out now. Fuck, fuck. Don't wait till May, nigga. Leave right. now. Leave now. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is, there are some old niggas yeah. in high school. It's yeah. old looking motherfuckers. Like, stay back a couple times. Right. Yeah. So, it is what it is. He looks young enough yeah. to be in high school, but not, not past senior. Let's be realistic. Yeah. He he definitely encapsulates Toby, nerd. Toby struggled the most. As in, over oh, overall. in general. Yeah, no. <laughs> like the, the every every of moment of every movie he is in is it's struggle. A struggle. <laughs> right? Which to me is the most important <laughs> thing about being Spider Man. You're not Spider Man minus a struggle. But I like that they're about that. It looks like they're putting Tom on that trajectory with yes. the whole for everyone forget me. That's thing. the but that's the problem that I have with Tom. Why did it take three movies for him to introduce struggle? Because three? he was that young. Three because, movies. I think it's because of. I think it's because he was movie. that young. I don't give a shit. Oh. Okay. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I was like, okay. Your problems start with dead Uncle Ben, and then it only gets worse from there for me. It only should get worse. The older you get, <laughs> he, the, the better we shit don't, to get. We don't have Uncle Ben. But my point being is, he should be sad and de- and dealing with death of Uncle Ben. I'm glad they skipped it. Yeah. I'm sick of seeing. But in skipping it, that removes something critical. He right. doesn't have that sadness because the nigga but what I'm died. Is, he died that long ago, or Aunt May was just never married. Right. Like they treat that nigga but they that treat him not that, existent. But that's my problem. Is to this day, all the other Spider Men still deal with the mental of Uncle Ben. Uncle His ben, mental is t- is losing Tony. But that's my problem. Is it shouldn't be Tony. It should yeah. be your Uncle Ben. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Even in Spider Verse, every. They literally had a scene in the second fucking Spider Verse movie where the dude, where the one Spider Man is talking about when he lost his Uncle Ben, and they're like, "Yeah, who gives a shit? We all lost Uncle Ben. That's how bad it's gotten for." Like, yeah, we know that. What's the other problems you got? We're skipping Uncle Ben because we know you're literal with other problems. Yeah, and that's my problem with Tom is he doesn't have enough outside of so they skipped Uncle Ben, which is a major, yeah. and then has no other problems really to go along with it. Girl problems, really? <laughs> that's it. It's really not. It's compared to the other Spider-Man? But then the nigga had to go to to space. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about Half the universe got erased. He had to go eat that. That trumps the nigga being late on rent. No. (laughs) What the fuck? He died. Because you know what? That's why I love it. Nigga, I would rather die than pay rent. (laughs) That's some true Spider-Man shit. (laughs) If somebody said, we could take you out and you decent... Or you gotta pay for pay rent and deal with late rent for a shitty apartment. I don't know if you ever looked at Spider-Man's yes, apartment. Oh shit. Yeah. That nigga ain't never had a nice place to live in. Even in a fucking new Spider-Man. He was behind on that house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you played Spider-Man too. <laughs> Thousands. Nigga, he was so behind. I dissected his fucking bill. Yeah. I'm like, how did you fuck up this much? Yeah. I was going through like, damn, what was his annual percentage yeah. for him to be this far behind? I in, all, in all honesty, they probably pencil whipped his ass through May dying. They probably raised a whole lot of shit because he wasn't seeing it before that. No. Well, no, he was... He was right away because they explained it in the game of, like, the transition into moving yeah. his house. No, he just couldn't afford it. Because, mind you, that was in, technically, I think that's the Bronx. Yeah. And that's a full house. Yeah. That's not far off from the main no. city. That house is expensive. Yeah. I looked up. Nigga, I went on sale. I looked up property in that neighborhood. You know what I kind of would like dive. to know? <laughs> How much fucking uh, Mama Morales' apartment costs? That little motherfucking nice. She's got cop salary money. Yeah. Though, and she's got dead cop salary pension. Yeah. She's straight. <laughs> she's straight. Ain't she a politician now, too? She good. Yeah. She probably lowered her own damn rent. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass. <laughs> Hence why I can't even I can't even put Miles as high as most people do. Oh, that's crazy. Now, Miles I love is my Miles. one. I, lo- I love Miles. He ain't my number one, and we can explain that after. I Hold up. And I gotta get back. Is why, but yeah. I got to get back to this real quick. So, here, that, so those are the reasons I can't respect Tom. So not only did Toby have real... He was, to me, the best encapsulation of Spider-Man. So you mentioned his quippage as Spider-Man was a little off. I feel like they removed most of that from the movies and, and added it the all into the game. The nigga has way too many iconic lines in that game. I can't see the shocker now without going. Shocker! To- I love that. That's that's 98 Spider-Man. Yeah. No. Toby game? He spotted that nigga and said, so you must be Quilt Man. <laughs> Padded Pete? Nah, Mr. Triple Ply? 
Oh no, I got it. The cushion. <laughs> that shit is clean, Spider Man quippage. <laughs> I have never called Shocker Shocker, but I like yeah. until I mentioned Quilt Man, Padded yeah. Pete, or Mr. Triple Ply. Very close <laughs> in succession. That's that nigga's name to me because that was great quippage. So, no, the man had, they just moved all his quips to there. They saved the movie for all his problems. <laughs> this nigga has never been on time for rent. I think I hate Mary Jane solely because of that version of Mary Jane. I have never liked Mary Jane because of that movie. Oh, wow. All the other Mary Janes are actually not as bad. Yeah, no. She is so like she, and I don't mean bad playing Mary Jane, but she's such a piece of shit yeah. that I'm just like, Toby, you can do better. Yeah. Peter, anybody but this bitch, please. She not only didn't barely like you, mm-hmm. she fucked Harry, mm-hmm. then she fucked Flash, mm-hmm. then she just fucked some random ass nigga at some point, and I'm just like, everybody but you, huh? Mm-hmm. Everybody but you? Mm-hmm. But then when she find out she's Spider-Man, now she want to come on. Fuck that bitch. Yeah. Go find Black Cat or somebody the fuck else, but Word. not her. Fuck that. Where's bitch. Gwen in this? Anybody universe? else? Gwen was in three. Yeah, no. and I'm just like, stay with her. Yeah, I'd rather you be with her at this point, please. Well, we kind of know how that works. So. <laughs> it's not very well. <laughs> not very well. For not very well. One. So yeah, no, just I, I just wanted better for my. I felt like he was so down and out that I just wanted better for him. Yeah. So that's all it was. He was. Always going through the muscle. And struggle. you really don't get that till rewatching it because they really tried to romanticize the fuck out of Mary Jane in because all three. She's supposed to be. I know, but, but she was a cunt. A cunt failing through. actress. And like and all the way through. And the which she took out on him a lot of times. Uh, Every damn time. Like, the fact that he... Don't give a fuck about your Broadway, bitch. I'm trying to say the city. The city is in danger, <laughs> bitch. The whole fucking city. And you're on your B-rate actress in That's a high. shitty play. That is that is generous. B? <laughs> is I'm going to give a B. I'm going to give a B-rate. B-rate actress. in Because in a, in a, in, she made it to New York. Like, she's less problematic than the Mary Jane that got turned into a water monster. And that's fucked up. That's fucked up. (laughs) Is it not accurate? It's very accurate. So with all of that in caps, and then to me, having the best Aunt May. The best hands-down Aunt May. Because when that motherfucking hospital wall blew up, that bitch... It was her house. Oh. That was her house. She was at home praying. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah, she was at home praying. And goblin came through the door. And the devil came through the motherfucking window. Yeah. You're not Spider Man, you know. I mean, you're not Superman, you know. <laughs> he, he knew, and he was like, "God damn it!" And I, but I'm, I'm sure to fuck Spider Man though. But, 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 but. Nice I, DC reference we, in a Marvel movie, by the way, too. Yeah, very funny. Yeah, <laughs> but also that added that that I know we we are ignore, ignoring three. That added when he spun the block and killed that Aunt May. That shit, fuck you, that. That that movie is the greatest. So yeah. that, that one movie is the greatest. And that nigga fucking choke slammed him through like 19 floors. Yep. Killed his aunt and made him watch. Like, and then your morality won't let you kill me. But you know why though? And that's again, small knock to Tom. Because he can kill his Aunt May. Don't forget, my boy Toby's Aunt May beat the shit out of Doc Ock. That's she facts. went hands with Doc Ock. She didn't give a fuck. That's a fact. <laughs> she survived Goblin and then beat the shit out of Ock. That's a fact. <laughs> I don't even know if she fought anybody in three. She had more fights. She probably fought like, Sandman right. in three. I feel like she had more fights than Tom Holland at this point. Damn. <laughs> May out here whooping ass. She, he had Mysterio. I liked what they did with Mysterio. I like what they did with Mysterio. Let's be, let's be realistic. That's still like saying I like what they did with Aquaman. I do like what they did with Aquaman, but Aquaman Ew, is still you Aquaman. you watched them? I ain't watched either one of the movies. <laughs> the problem is it's still Aquaman. It's my point. <laughs> I'm never going to have high respect for Aquaman. No. But Jason Momoa did his thing for Aquaman. That's all I'm saying. Like, all right. He made Aquaman less loserish. Maybe I'll give him a chance. <laughs> you saw the second one, too? I didn't see all of them. Oh. I didn't see it. I'm just saying that I didn't oh. see any of them. But oh. I seen what he... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were defending him. But, okay. but I will say that the look of Aquaman definitely looks better with Jason Momoa behind it. That's all I'm saying. Fuck it. I don't put him above Justice League Unlimited hook hand Aquaman. No, he's always the best Aquaman. <laughs> it's like, time. hook hand Aquaman is that nigga. Hook hand Aquaman is the nigga. Is that, number one. That but Jason Moore is number two. 
Was that Apocalypse where that nigga spent all movie fighting Wonder Woman? Because yes. Wonder Woman killed his bitch. Yeah. <laughs> still, that, is, that is also peak Aquaman. But I still feel like that's technically the same as Hook Hand Aquaman, isn't it? That's the same Aquaman, ain't it? No. Oh. That's Flash. That's some Flashpoint. Oh, fucker. God damn it. Flash is the... Flash might be a villain. <laughs> like, he is. Might as well be. Like, Flash fucks up more than he helps, I feel like. Yeah. So, either way, back to Spider-Man. So, um, Best bully. Toby had the best bully. Best bully by a long shot. Best bully. But also, I don't, I don't that like, would his bully the best, I feel like. Too. I don't like Arab Flash. I'm like, <laughs> I think he's not a bully. No. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. Fuck out of here. <laughs> so, he had the best villains, best bully. Worst Mary best, Jane. Best Aunt May. Best Aunt May. Um, and best video games. By a long shot, I don't think we can argue that those era of Spider-Man video games weren't fucking Pete. Well, that he, his only cop there is fucking Andrew. Ah, uh, yeah. Very Which? True. No. That because, Andrew, Andrew's games were not bad. No. No, his were, his were okay. For the time. Yeah. For the time, they are okay. I was going to say that um, Tom has one. I thought he was an Avenger, but no, they spun a block on yeah. an older, more OG Spider-Man. Yeah. Which, I mean, to me, says a lot. Like, you just can't. You can't inject that Spider-Man anymore. It's just not cool. They tried with Insomniac Spider-Man to kind of make him more like Andrew. Or not more like uh, Tom Holland with giving him more tech in his suit and shit like mm-hmm. that. But personally, I end up just not using half of it. I'm, I don't know about you. When you play I Spider-Man did. 2, did you use... I used the gadgets. Did you use... Well, I used the gadgets, but I never used those stupid-ass fucking backpack claws. Yeah, I did. I never used yeah, those. I did. I 100% went without those the entire damn time. When the first... I switched to the suit that made the back claws make more sense. Nigga, I purposefully did the Iron Spider fucking right. outfit just so this shit would make more sense. No, nah, I, I, <laughs> I purposely didn't use gadgets until I got Venom. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, now I can use specials. Like, those are the last things I upgraded. I only upgraded them to get a I trophy. I still need DLC. It's not going to happen. What? But DLC, we just... We got, like, one mission as Agent Venom. The Agent Venom suit. I wouldn't be surprised. They might do it. So, Tom, better games, better villains, better movies. Now, let's get to the, the crux. I got to get to... Look, one more thing. Toby Movies have my boy, Ash, from... um. The, Evil Dead? Yep. So Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell is in every one of those movies. He's in every one of the movies, and he's in every one of the video games. As they also tutorial. had Macho Man. They did have Macho Man. So best cameos, I could say. Best cameos and the best JJ. JJ only exists in... Did Stan Lee cameo and the Andrew ones? Yes. Okay. But they weren't as big of a pop, I think, as... Because they weren't, like, standard until later down the line for MCU. So I think he cameoed. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know he was in at least two of Toby's. No. No, he was in none of Toby's. What? I don't think he was in any Toby's. Damn. Because that was before the Stanley cameo was a thing. I I thought it started there. Then they started in Iron Man when the MCU was gearing up. Maybe I'm tweaking. Maybe I'm tweaking too. I don't remember Stanley in, in any of them. Stanley was in Spider Man because it's Spider Man. Yeah, no, that, and that's his favorite superhero. So yeah, I don't know. I Maybe not. I could but, be wrong. I, I I will gladly say I'm wrong on that one. That might be the one thing I definitely might be off on. So now I got to get to the, the crux because this is the most important destabilization of Toby. Spider Man three. I get the hatred. I do understand the hatred, but here's my my defense of it. For one, the fact that that dance exists and you everybody was mad at it, why do they keep using it? That dance is iconic. Because it pisses people off. It's That's fucking why. hilarious, though. It's hilarious. That, he knows it's hilarious. That, Even Toby was like, this is silly. That movie might have created the memes. Oh, definitely. I'm like, sure that, of Like, I don't think there was memes before that fucking dance scene. No. No, <laughs> we did meme um, the theme, his theme song. So we all meme that theme song. But other than that, that dance was the greatest meme that I ever created. I think I feel like that meme started memes in general. Yeah, that's what there. I'm saying. Like there was no memes. <laughs> there were no memes ever. before like 04. Right. And then <laughs> this movie came out and everybody was like, 
Yeah, like, all right. I don't give a fuck. This is a good dance, and I'll do that shit. Oh, it's no, not a good like, dance, but they did add it to Fortnite. They added it to Fortnite. They added it to the Into the Spider-Verse movie. Yeah. They added it to the video games. Yeah. Like, say what you want. That shit I pops. Will. It pops every time. I will say what I will. You can say time. what you want. It, <laughs> might, it might be the equivalent <laughs> of the existence of the hurricane as a wrestler, but fuck it. Like, niggas pop for hurricane. Niggas pop for shark boy. And that dance, I'm going to pop for every damn time. That, I die when they put that shit in Spider-Verse with the music. Yeah. In the, mu- in the beginning of the movie, I'm like, yes, thank you for that. I needed that. I needed that more than you thought I needed that <laughs> shit. Shit was beautiful. But I will defend it in the sense of he just couldn't, it, for, I would would have said, for his character to go fully aggressive, yeah. that Venom's Peter Parker should have gone, just didn't fit Toby. Yeah. But now that I know what Toby's like outside, he could have done it. He could have easily have done it. So I feel like that was just, I think that was mis, a mistake on the director. I think if they just let Toby be Toby, is I've seen other movies that he's been in. He can go there. I think they just weren't allowing him to do it. I think they didn't let fucking Insomniac Spider-Man go there. Because that, cause that sent you shit me. Yeah. That motherfucker just added bitch to every sentence. That shit made it did. just... It was great. Oh, so good. <laughs> no, Insomniac... God damn, calm down. Um, What even touched it? <laughs> this just got tired of living. <laughs> <laughs> Suicide by cop. Full circle. God damn it. <laughs> So yeah, no. I feel like, granted that his dark version of you know and the the symbiote Spider Man was probably the lamest version of symbiote Spider Man, but it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. It just wasn't the best. I would like to see Andrew symbiote. I think they should definitely do it. I think Andrew symbiote would be the best symbiote Spider Man though. I don't think Tom would be able to do it. I think Tom, I feel like Tom could take it there as far as I anger. think Tom has the acting skills maybe to go yeah. there, but I think his character as Spider Man is the most unbelievable symbiote. I feel like his character is the most unstable because of his age. Yeah, but it wouldn't make for a good symbiote Spider Man. I think he'd just be fucking a dick. That's kind of what you just need him to dick. be. Like, I think he'd be the. I'm trying to think of the right term for it. I think he'd be a teenage angst almost. Like he's just young and unstable, but he's not a dick. Yeah. I think to have that level of fucking Venom Spider-Man, yeah. you need to be just old enough yeah. where you have some animosity. It needs to be animosity, not a dick. Yeah. And that's where you, I think Toby had the animosity built in and didn't express it. Yeah. He had the setup and the ability. They just didn't let him do it. Yeah. I think what would make Andrews the best is now it's like, I'm not a good Spider-Man. Yeah. They really hyped up he's not a yeah, good Spider-Man. I need, I need that to, I need it to be post- <laughs> Post No Way Home, yeah. Andrew, straight and, into and the symbiote. Because now he now he feels less than, and yeah. now he has a suit to make him better. Yeah. So now he's going to be. He's going to be a subject. He's going to be, be a subject with, with Miles. It would be yeah, perfect. I need it. I, I think it. he will do it. And he has the acting chops to really push the envelope. I, I think he it. would be one of the best symbiotes. Yeah. Because I think they'll allow him, because now they see what they did wrong with Insomniac. And now, like, if we push it a little further. I think we can hit gold. Yeah. He can pull it off. I would like it. I that's my thought. So, but either way, those are my that's my argument for for Toby being the best. From the games to the villains, I don't think you can deny anything I've laid out for you. No. The games I think are the thing that people let go the most and I'm like you have Because to. I haven't I haven't played those. Oh, you haven't played any of them? I mean, I played one but like when they came out, okay. though, I yeah, haven't no. like gone back to them. I think the first one is the hardest one to go back to, uh-huh. but it's good. It's definitely good. The second one is straight goaded. The third one was the hardest one to really like invest yourself in, but it's still not a bad game. Um, but two blew it out the fucking park. Two was, I still play that shit on my phone on a daily basis. I remember three the most vivid because I remember that fucking on the building side by side suit. Yeah. Fucking menu screen. Yeah, no, they, they, they had great source material in a sense. Like, the setup for the third remember, movie was great. I remember personally going through that fucking Sandman fight. That shit was rough. That shit was rough. And that shit was very rough. Um, yeah, no. They had the best games. And honestly, the only game outside of that one that's really good is uh, Shattered Dimensions. Oh, my God. It's amazing. And then it's Insomniac Spider-Man. So, it's Toby's, then them doing everything they can for Spider-Man, and then and Insomniac. And Shadows. 
I haven't played Web of Shadows yet, so it's, but I hear it's one it's of the best. Kind of like the same as Shadow Dimension. Okay, I have it. I just haven't played it, so it's it's, it's on the chopping block. I got to get to it. But yeah, no, my arguments are solid. I don't think anybody can talk me out of my arguments for Toby. And now with the third movie, adding them back in, and then all the subtle nods, the fact that he has the best to me in like. In context, he is not real. Spider-Man looking Spider-Man. He is real life Peter B. Parker. Yeah, now. I think it, I like and that. I think it works. I think it works. He's the most incognito. Like I can look at the other two and be like, there's something about those two that I feel like is more than meets the eye. Toby looks like a regular ass nigga. I like that nigga had back problems. From swinging, from swinging, <laughs> mind you, was a, was a callback to Spider Man too when he yeah. busted his ass. Yeah, great callback, and it was he was just very genuine about being like I'm a hero, but I think the best way I can put it is he's a hero, but that's not all he is. Yeah. Where I feel like the other two, that's all they got yeah. is being Spider Man. And Toby's like, no, I got a girl, I got a family that I'm trying to grow up, I got a job that I'm trying to get through. I got bills to pay. Like, I got shit that goes on as Peter, yeah. where you niggas get to play Spider-Man all day. And I think that's my biggest thing with Tom, is Tom gets to just be Spider-Man for the most part. He has Peter Parker, but I feel like Peter Parker takes such a hard backseat that you could just be Spider-Man with all the shit that is available to you and just be Spider-Man and chill. Yeah. Dip off, join the <coughs> Avengers, and just live at the tower or some shit and just be fucking Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. You're cool. Toby ain't got that. Andrew definitely ain't got that. Andrew ain't got nowhere to go outside of Spider Man. Spider Man, like he ain't got no, he ain't got no bitch no more. He doesn't no. have family no more. Yeah, it's just him and his suit, and yeah. that's sad. Yeah. And I think they, that's why they need to run Amazing back for. Please run Amazing back for for the symbiote. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Like he needs it. Yeah, for the character is what I'm saying. Fucking uh, y'all trying to bring Venom in. Put that, put them two niggas them in two the same movie. At it, but they've already came in out as as Tom Holland's Spider Man, which I don't think mm -hmm. I didn't, they already like. And I think the last Spider Man, oh. they were physically watching Tom. Yeah, but multiverse bullshit. They got a Deadpool movie coming out. They can fuck around some shit. I, I mean, if that's how they want to do it, I'm fine with it. <laughs> he go looking for Tom and find Andrew and find Andrew. Yeah. I'm fine with that. And Andrew just got a. Figure it the fuck out. <laughs> that would be the greatest. Him trying to figure it the fuck out. Mm -hmm. But how would we get a little symbiote on him? See, that, that's why I, I don't, don't like know. how they did. The way they did this fucking I don't Venom, like how they did Venom. They, like, fucked, it that, they like, fucked it all up. So like, it's already wrong. It's already wrong. And I, I don't like watching it. that Madam Web shit. Oh, everybody hates it, apparently. Oh, I, I, I've cool. seen people leave it when we went to go watch Damn. Evan Children. They were just like, this shit's ass. Damn. The only two people that I've seen that seemed like they kind of liked it was the two chicks that walked out, and they were like, it's pretty good. And I'm like, pretty good must be ass. Yeah, right. Oh, well. Um, so let's cap it off so we can end this episode since we're running really long. So you're still Team Tom. I'm yeah. still Team Toby. It's cool. Differences aside. Best Spider-Man in general outside of movies, though. <laughs> you can include movies, too, but just in general. I really want to before Spider Man Two, the game. Mm -hmm. My my answer was Miles, but Insomniac yeah. Spider Man is really good. Yes, but in two, that nigga talk too much, like like nigga yap reveal himself too much, and that end suit is atrocious. That last suit, yeah. That end suit is atrocious. Are you gonna play the new game plus with the new suits and shit? They announced it yesterday. Oh shit! What new suits? So I don't know. I haven't seen them. I seen one of them. They look all right. Uh, yeah, I probably will. I, I'm gonna wait till DLC kicks in before. Yeah, I do that. that that part. I'm probably gonna wait for that. At too. least, at least announce that DLC is coming. Mm -hmm. Um, so Insomniac though. Insomniac I'm, Peter. I think or I'm going Insomniac Two Peter. Okay. I mean, you could just say Insomniac Peter. I would have said Insomniac Two Peter on one condition. They left that nigga's face alone. Mm -hmm. His OG face. So much better, but they wanted him to look like they admitted it finally. Wanted they wanted like him to look more like Tom, yeah, so they can relate. And it, they kept saying it was easier to mocap, suck my dick. And so, and with Insomniac, one Miles is up there for me, though. Yeah, his own personal game and one was pretty decent, but again, I don't care what anybody says because everybody's blaming two for him revealing himself too much. He was revealing himself too much in his own game. Yeah. So that's just that's just Miles. Miles don't give a fuck about secrecy. Yeah. So 
I can't. That's why. That's the reason why I can't say Miles. Miles doesn't care about some of the basic Core. shit. Basic Spider Man shit. Yeah. You know, um, is and anything that I can say that pumps him up sounds racist. I like that he's you know he's got little nigga swag, but that's kind of <laughs> like. I've heard reviews like that. I'm like, that's kind of racist, and I don't like that. He's like, he's got that that inner city black boy vibe, and I'm yeah. like, that's yeah. And but, nigga, yeah, nigga, go get go go get a bag of nigga cheese. I don't know. If that's the reason why I want to hype. And motherfucker up. got some Spanish shit, so you know how to bachata. Oh yeah, no, I fucks, like, I I fucks with him. I fucks with him, hundred <laughs> percent. But ain't nothing, and I mean, ain't nothing touching 98 Spider Man. 98 Spider Man is the goat. Yeah. When I hear the voice of Spider-Man, it's always that Spider-Man. When they brought him back for Shattered Di- Dimensions, it was him again. He's always been Spider-Man to me. He's got the best Spider-Man sound. He's got the best quips. Best cameos. Best cameos. Best, best episodes. Mary best Mary Jane. The list goes on and on. The only thing that he ain't got is natural webbing, but the nigga yeah. never ran out of his cartridges, unlike everybody Very the fuck rarely. else. Very rarely. Only like two episodes. Right. So he was always stashed. He knew what he was doing. He was he was a veteran Spider-Man is the best way to put it. That fucking the emblem on his fucking belt was a, was a flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> the nigga was set. He was, always, he was never ill-prepared, I feel like. When he did get caught up, it was believable when he got caught up because he was yeah. just like getting caught out of guard. His spider sense... Was Top a bit there. much, but it's an iconic sound of, of Spider Sense. There's nothing missing from his Spider Man. There's jack shit, nothing missing. He did enter the Spider Verse. He did Madam Web. Did Lamb. Andrew have Spider Sense? All of them have Spider Sense. Uh, I mean, it took it took Tom a while to get his Spider Sense. Did it? He didn't get his Spider Sense until until. I didn't know that. Endgame. No shit. Cause it was really that was like the first time we saw the like the physical representation of it. When the niggas was coming down in a spaceship oh, and, yeah, his, yeah. and the hair on his arm stood up. Right. That was like he didn't even call it Spider Sense. He was like uh the tingle thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought they just all had a version of it. They just didn't show it that well. Yeah. Um I mean, if you're going for visuals, I guess Tom's visuals look the best. But that's just technology of our age versus yeah. the old age, so I'm not gonna give him that. Are we? It's fine. I fucking love that Iron Spider suit. All right. So yeah, I'm going 96. So you're saying Insomniac too, yeah. Spider Man? Yeah. All right. Well, on that note, you got a song of the day, so we can end this episode because yeah. we've ran we ran out of hard drive space apparently, which I I like that. Um, my song of the week. I I had I had one, but I will switch it to mm. be apropos. Uh, Annihilate, Metro Boomin, Sway Lee, Lil Wayne, and Offset off the Spider Verse into Enter the Spider Verse theme song. I got you, Kelly. What you got for us? <laughs> Surprised you didn't pick Creed. And they say they're the heroes. The heroes. <laughs> I do love me some Creed. So I don't even know if that's Creed or one of the other bands that sound that, like Creed. That, but I'm pretty, I think, sure I'm pretty sure that's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I gave mine away. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's yours. Uh, I'm going to go Stillborn Black Label Society. Yes! Great song. <laughs> I like that song a lot. All right, so until then, we'll see you on the actual finale of the Nonsense Podcast. It's been fun. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe while well, you still got a chance. Um, I mean, what? you can always like, comment, and subscribe. I'm not, it's not like the channel's going anywhere. <laughs> like um, but now is a good chance because I never say it, but now it might be a good chance for you to ring the bell because you only got a few episodes left. You got this next episode and a couple fucking best of episodes. So you got to be on point when we come back. So click the, but- like, click the bell on the YouTubes. That le- during this off season, you can go on Spreaker and rerun all our old shit. Hell yeah, I do it. You should do it too. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, listen to us on Spreaker, iHeartRadio. Yeah, get you a shirt from www.fnentertainment.com. A great place to listen because Spreaker is right on the website. By the way, mm-hmm. you can listen on Spreaker on the website. 
buy you a shirt, check out our Instagram. So, you know, follow us on Instagram. Click the links below if you don't know where to go. Um, yeah, there's no excuse not to keep up with us, man. It's been fun for this episode. We'll see you next episode pretty soon. Goodbye. Farewell to you, my friends. Hello. Farewell. Until we meet again. Oh, just, just fucking it up. Now I gotta watch the show yesterday.